hey everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back how are you all doing it is another lovely uh, day and another beautiful video <laughs> welcome my name is Justina if you are new here you are more than welcome in here is all about family lifestyle it's all about cooking taking care of our kids taking care of our family and yeah being a beautiful happy healthy mom this is what we're doing in here and also to top everything up we do cook and eat with me as well so if you enjoy family vlogging family lifestyle cooking and eating baby you're welcome this is the place for you to stay anyway today I'm making a yam porridge um, with Irish potato but I'm not doing typical Nigerian yam porridge you know the one we do with red oil and all that I don't think my kids prefer that one they like this method better than the red oil one so I have just added my white onions in the pot and I have vegetable oil in the pot I'm just gonna allow it to just simmer a bit and let the onions get softer at the moment I am peeling my Irish potato and after that I'm going to peel my yam why I added the Irish potato is um, I feel like our Irish dad prefer Irish potato than yam so we respect him and respect everything that he loves to eat we're not gonna force him to eat whatever he doesn't like that I'm not that kind of a person I like to feed people what they're happy with and yeah so if he prefer the um, the sweet uh, the Irish potato that's what I'm gonna give him but funny enough he also tried the yam as well anyway but I feel like I should add the Irish potato just to give him the option if he doesn't like the yam but at the end of the day he had the yam so happy days but anyway um, I am peeling the yam and yeah I'm um, cleaning up and getting it ready if you don't know what yam is basically yam is our main food in Nigeria or will I say Africa as a whole I don't know I wouldn't say Africa as a whole because you know people the way they like to you know put all African <laughs> all African country in one boat so let me speak for myself and where I came from in Nigeria in the Igbo side of the country of Nigeria because you know Nigeria is so many tribes but um, in my side of the country of Nigeria we love yam it is our stable food and for me we are yam farmers yam and cassava farmers so I grew up eating a lot of yam and a lot of cassava so um yeah after cutting my yam and potato I have added my tin tomato in the pot you can use fresh tomato for this recipe if you have fresh tomato but this is always handy to have in the house fresh tomato I find when I buy it if I don't hurry up to use it up it's gonna you know rot in the fridge or rot somewhere and by the time I get around using it it's just too rotten to use I have to throw it away but them tin tomatoes are handy to have because you know they're not gonna rot when I have fresh tomatoes when I buy fresh I know I am going to use it right away it's not something I keep for later so I allow the tomato to simmer for at least 20 minutes just let it fry a bit I like to fry my tomato very well it's just from the caution that I grew up with when we're cooking with tomato let's say jollof fries or whatever we like to fry it thoroughly frying it thoroughly means that it takes out the sour taste it takes out the sour taste and the tomato end up being sweet and lovely and tasty so I'm gonna fry that for at least 20 minutes let it fry a bit more and yeah welcome if you are new here and you're still with me and you're still watching and you have not subscribed baby consider subscribing because we are doing wonderful things in this channel we are doing loads of wonderful things if you're a family person then you're welcome so I added um garlic I added my Nigerian mixed seasoning and I am adding ginger and um, after that I added a bit of curry 
in the pot and I am adding dry chili. This is dry Nigerian chili. I usually add a little bit of the chili because the chili is powerful. <laughs> it is very spicy. So I try not to be carried away because I have kids and I have an Irish man as well living in here. So <laughs> um, I added my meat stock and I added water. Now I'm adding my Maggi. Uh, it's not actually it's not cube because Maggi is different. This one is not because I'm used to calling every cube Maggi, <laughs> but it's not cube. I added I in I added one in one. There is two mini ones. Oh, look at that tomato! Look, look, look at the pot. Look at the juiciness of this sauce. This sauce is absolutely juicy. Like it is bubbling. That is what I like to see whenever I'm frying tomato or cooking with tomato. I just love it. You know looking tasty and looking nice so after i have finished adding all my seasonings i am now adding my my um yam and irish potato in the pot and we're nearly this recipe is nearly over this is like the most simple thing to cook in nigerian home and in nigerian home we cook it with palm oil so when no tomato no any of that jazz it just palm oil so guys, now I have um, chicken that I have fried, uh, cooked and fried. I usually keep them in my freezer so they are handy to use. So I added that in the pot and I allowed it to simmer for another 10 minutes. And look at that pot. Like guys, look at the pot. It is looking absolutely colorful, absolutely delicious. And the aroma in here is on the top of it like all oh my days it smells wonderful so i am going to try it out and see if the yam is soft enough so that i can take it out from the pot because you don't want your yam to be too too soft because when it's too soft it start melting away like literally it start melting away so yeah it is the right um right softness <laughs> it is the right softness and this pot is ready to come out from the stove and yes very simple very easy to make this does not take too much time at all to make and yeah we are done cooking this food i am dishing it out now to everybody in the house and i'm telling you they are waiting behind me waiting to grab it my kids love this recipe if your kids does not if you're Nigerian and your kid don't like the traditional um yam porridge with red or you try this try this you will come back and thank me for it try it like this one is they will lick the plate for you try it <laughs> So guys, we are finished this delicious looking yam pottage <laughs> and it is looking absolutely nice. Yam and tomato porridge. Now let's dive in. Come on guys, it is time. It is time to demolish like kings and queens. You know how it is. Let's pray. Amen, amen, amen. Ooh, look at that. This stuff is so juicy. Look at the sauce. Look at how rich the sauce is. Ooh. Mmm.
Oh, excuse me. guys it was delicious look at my plate i licked the plate bite the bone it was juicy it was delicious i totally enjoyed it anyway guys thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you all oh 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 oh, oh. hold on we totally demolished like kings and queens this yam potato was super juicy anyway yam potato this potato and yam tomato porridge was very, very delicious. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you all on my next one.